away from the gang mentality, but Man. I mean, obviously your behavior Bro. has not been much better. The first attacks outside the venues, going after each other at any opportunity to get anywhere that you can. I mean, if you're looking to turn over the lead, your actions are saying a different thing. Uh, you're right. You got Sanjo. When it comes to Adam Cole, you got to fight fire with fire. I've seen what this man is Leader doing. time. And if I have to sink my new down to his mask. level to gain an advantage, then and my new I certainly will to do so. Obviously, there's history. There's deep brotherhood that's been, well, been betrayed. You both feel that way. Exactly. My question to you is, when does it stop and when will you be satisfied? Got in WWE shop. Man, this is. I've been really struggling with. Have a nice this day. Whole decision, this whole mentality for the better part of a year. And ironically enough, it was Adam Cole that would make my decision for me. He would put the stake through the heart, he would set me free. And I found myself in a lot of interesting positions, um, opportunities, you might say. I mean, the main event of TakeOver against Finn Balor, the NXT Championship. I lost that match. And I lost the rematch. A new mask. But Joe, I finally fit myself again. That's because I fought with honor. I fought with integrity. I fought Have by myself. A nice day. So you speak about finally having the capability to fight with honor, fight with respect. But when it comes to unsanctioned, I think we both know mm -hmm. both those qualities will probably not be a part of that match. The question remains, does Kyle O'Reilly have what it takes to beat Nick Foley? Yeah, he does. And uh, I know the follow-up question, is this going to be an instant classic? Uh, what are we in store for a takeover? And um, I'm not here to set any realistic expectations because this will be as one-sided as it gets, Joe.